hello guys in this video tutorial we'll be talking about another carrier molecule and this is SAM or S adenosylmethionine this is a very very important ingredient for carrying out the chemical group CHC or methyl now there are other uh, enzymes or there are other different types of uh, chemical molecules that can also transfer this CHC group but uh, S adenosylmethionine or SAM is pretend to be the most important of all because CHC group transfer uh, is mediated by this SAM is very very efficient and very very uh, very very sufficiently done okay now uh, so you can see here the SAM is a preferred cofactor for biological CHC transfers okay though we are having different other types like tetrahydrofolate because tetrahydrofolate is much more versatile than SAM but it cannot transfer CHC group at as much efficiently as SAM does okay now uh, if you look at the biosynthesis of SAM as the name suggests is adenosyl methionine so we are ha we are having a metho methionine and also um, adenosine so adenosine and methionine will be combined together to make this S adenosyl methionine so methionine is here you, in our left hand side here in this case and uh, adenosine group is also having here ATP is this so we will take only the adenosine group from here and inorganic phosphate and pyrophosphate will be removed and during this time course of the reaction uh, SAM is produced the combination of adenosine and methionine on the other hand pyrophosphate and orthophosphates are getting removed from these reactions okay and uh, this pyrophosphate can be broken down into inorganic phosphates and that will lead some energy that is a normal process of our life okay now what are the role of this SAM in me metabolism okay so this SAM is a potentially different uh, and alkylating agent Mm, uh, and, and it also uh, it's also this it's, it's uh, because of why why it's a very very important alkylating agent because it is having a destabilizing sulfonium ion that's why we write S before this adenosine methionine okay now this CH3 is subject to attack by this by the nucleophile that's why it can take up CH3 it can snatch CH3 from other mo moieties because it is having a, this nucleophilic attack to CH3 and can drag this CH3 onto itself and then it can also give the CH3 to other moieties now transfer of a CH3 group from SAM uh, to an acceptor e, uh, forms this S adenosyl homocysteine or SAH now again the enzyme which convert this SAH into other components is again the uh, adenosine homocysteine so if we move on and see what are the basic process of doing this we can find here now methionine is there ATP is coming and we convert them together to make this S adenosine methionine okay so SAM is being produced so this is the SAM this is the SAM which is produced now uh, the enzyme which catalyzes the production of SAM from methionine and ATP attachment is called the ATP methionine adenosyl transferase okay so ATP methionyl adenosyl transferase transfer this adenosine group from ATP towards the methionine to produce S adenosyl methionine now it is having a sulfonium ion and this sulfonium ion is very very much electron insufficient so it, it can have an electrophile okay so it is an electrophile in that case now variety of methyl transferase enzymes can can come here and this methyl transferase enzymes are, can help to transfer this methyl group from one moiety to another moiety for example we are having this moiety which is R we need to transfer this methyl group to this uh, to this R to make this CH3 the methyl group donor is some other molecule so suppose this X is a methyl group donor so it was previously having this CH3 group to it and S adenosyl methyl will take this CH3 and bring it to R it will attach this CH3 to R to produce RCH3 right with the help of the enzyme methyl transferase as the name suggests methyl group is transferred by this enzyme that's why it's called the methyl transferase now after the transfer of methyl group to R what we generate we generate another type of moiety which is called the SHA or S adenosine homocysteine because after transfer of this group S adenosine methionine is converted into S adenosine homocysteine now is this S adenosyl homocysteine uh, can again be converted into normal cysteine so for converting this S adenosyl homocysteine into cysteine or homocysteine we must uh, remove this adenosine group so this adenosine group can easily be removed once the water is added and the hydrolysis of the bond is done now water will come and break this bond from this layer as a result of this breakage adenosine will be removed and also homocysteine can be generated so this part is the homocysteine so homocysteine let me change the color 
sorry so this is the homocysteine part so homocysteine part can be dragged out so homocysteine can be produced here now the homocysteine as it is produced now we need to produce this methionine otherwise the cycle is not being completed so the production of methionine or the conversion uh, of homocysteine into methionine can be done with the help of methionine synthase so methionine synthase can come and convert the homocysteine into methionine again the name suggests us all that methionine synthase means the synthesis of the methionine and n5 methyl uh, tetrahydrofolate uh, can be uh, the precursor for converting this methionine group uh, for taking this methionine group from homocysteine and drag it to another moiety to produce methionine we have seen that the importance of tetrahydrofolate because tetrahydrofolate is a versatile molecule it can carry not only CH3 but also CH2 it can carry a methyl group it can carry methylene group it can carry uh, ethylene group and also formyl group and form formimino group and all these groups so in this case we can have uh, the access to the tetrahydrofolate uh, methyl, methyl tetrahydrofolate can transfer this methyl group and can generate the methionine. So it's a just a cyclar, cyclic process to go on. SAM would be converted to SHA and the enzyme which can drag the CH3 group from one moiety to another is the methyl transferase. Now again SHA can be converted or broken down, not converted, SHA is broken down into two components. One is the adenosine by the hydrolysis and another one is the homocysteine. And the enzyme for this is called the S adenosyl homocysteine. So SAH is itself acting as the enzyme in this case. So we don't need the presence of any other enzyme. So it's it's acting like an enzyme, but it only needs uh, access to water. Now water is come, uh, water is there, and it can break in, broken down into two parts: homocysteine and adenosine. Now homocysteine can be taken up to produce methionine, and the transfer of the methyl group is mediated by the tetrahydrofolate. Okay, via the methionine synthase enzyme in this case. Okay, so that's uh, so again. I'm telling you all this thing that THF or this SAM, whatever we are dealing with, these things THF, SAM, and all these things, these things are not enzymes on their own. Instead, these things are called the cofactors. So they are helping to achieve uh, the enzymatic reaction. They are helping uh, to achieve the different transfer of chemical groups. That's a very very important thing. These are not chemicals. Uh, these are not. <laughs> these are chemicals, but these are not enzymes. Uh, these are the mediators of enzymes, and these are the cofactors of the enzymes. So we can see here in this enzymatic reaction, the actual enzyme is methionine synthase, but I this tetrahydrofolate is just acting as the cofactor. Okay. So that's it, and I hope it will help you. Uh, anyways, uh, no. Uh, before uh, closing all these things, must tell the advantages. I have told I have told it before that the SAM is uh, that that CH3 group or addition of the CH3 group can be mediated by SAM. It is about 10 to the power three times more effective than the transfer of CH3 group by the N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. So that's why SAM is very very important. That's the first thing. Uh, during the convert, uh, mm, carrying out uh, the CH3 or taking off from CH3 to one place to another place, and the second thing is that it can act as a powerful alkylating agent. Okay, so that these two things are the advantages of SAM over THM. Okay, so that's it, and I hope it will help you. Thank you.